forest and wildlife. Biodiversity Biodiversity or biological diversity is immensely rich in wildlife and cultivated species diverse in form and function but closely integrated system through multiple network of independencies. Flora and Fauna in India India is one of the world's richest countries in terms of its vast array of biological diversity and has nearly 8% of the total number of species in the world, estimated to be 1.6 million. Fauna or animal life More than 81,000 species Fauna or plant life More than 47,000 species Indigenous flowering plants about 15,000 species Endangered wild flora about 10% Endangered mammals about 20% List of critically endangered species Many of these would now be categorized as critical that is on the verge of extinction like the cheetah, pink-headed duck, mountain quail, forest spotted owlet, and plants like medusa and cygnus, a wild variety of mahua, and Ubadia heptaniron a species of grass. In fact, no one can say how many species may have already been lost. Classification based on the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Let us now understand the different categories of existing plants and animal species. Based on the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resource IUCN, we can classify them as follows. Number 1. Normal Species Species whose population levels are considered to be normal for their survival, such as cattle, sal, pine, rodents, etc. Number 2. Endangered Species These are species which are in danger of extinction. The survival of such species is difficult in the negative factors that have led to a decline in their population continue to operate. The examples of such species are black buck, Crocodile, Indian wild ass, Indian rhino, Sangai, etc. Number 3 Vulnerable Species. These are species whose population has declined to levels from where it is likely to move into the endangered category in the near future if the negative factors continue to operate. The examples of such species are blue sheep, Asiatic elephant, Gangetic dolphin, etc. Number 4. Rare Species Species with small population may move into the endangered or vulnerable category if the negative factors affecting them continue to operate. The examples of such species are the Himalayan brown bear, wild Asiatic buffalo, desert fox, and hornbill, etc. Number 5. 
endemic species. These are species which are only found in some particular areas, usually isolated by natural or geographical barriers. Examples of such species are the Andaman tail, Nicobar pigeon, Andaman wild pig, Mithun in Arunachal Pradesh. Number 6 Extinct Species These are species which are not found after searches of known or likely areas where they may occur. A species may be extinct from a local area, region, country, continent or the entire earth. Examples of such species are the Asiatic cheetah, pink-head duck. Number of endangered species 79 species of mammals 44 of birds 15 of reptiles and 3 of amphibians 1500 plant species are considered endangered. Vanishing Forests The dimensions of deforestation in India are staggering. The forest cover in the country is estimated of 6,67,293 square kilometer, which is 19.39% of the total geographical area. Dense forest 11.48%, open forest 7.76%, and mangrove 0.15%. Causes of depletion of flora and fauna The greatest damage inflicted on Indian forests was during the colonial period due to the expansion of agriculture enrichment plantation, development projects, and mining activities. Even after independence, agricultural expansion continues to be one of the major causes of depletion of forest resources. Number 1. Agricultural Expansion Between 1951 and 1980, according to the Forest Survey of India, over 26,200 square kilometer of forest area was converted into agricultural land all over India. Substantial parts of the tribal belts, especially in these northeastern and central India, have been deforested or degraded by shifting cultivation, a type of slash and worm agriculture. Number 2. Enrichment Plantation Promotion of a few favoured species in many parts of India has been carried through the ironically termed enrichment plantation in which a single commercially valuable species was extensively planted and overspecies eliminated. For instance, teak monoculture has damaged the natural forest in South India. Chinar Pine Pinus Roxburghi plantations in the Himalayas have replaced the Himalayan oak and rhododendron forests. Number 3 Development Projects Large scale development projects have also contributed significantly to the loss of forests. Since 1951, over 5,000 square kilometer of forest was cleared for river valley projects. Clearing of forests is still continuing with projects like the Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh, which would inundate 
40,000 hectares of forest.